In this quick video, I will explain how to link Google Search Console to Google Analytics 4 and how to unlock those reports in GA4. By the way, I release Google Analytics or Google Tag Manager tutorials every week. If you want consistent flow of fresh knowledge and to stay up to date, then subscribe to this channel. It will help us a lot. To connect Search Console to Google Analytics, log in to your Google Analytics account, then go to Admin, and then keep looking for Search Console links. Then click Link, and here you will need to select a Search Console account that you want to link. Click here. Here you will need to select a Search Console property that you want to connect. Keep in mind that one Search Console property can be linked with one Google Analytics data stream. For example, here the first property is already linked, so I cannot link it to this property. Therefore, I will need to select another one. Once you select the Search Console property, click Confirm. Then click Next, then select Web Stream that you want to connect. Then click Next again and click Submit. If everything was done properly, then you will see that the link was created. Then you will need to wait for a while and eventually some historic data from Search Console will become visible in Google Analytics 4 property as well. What you need to keep in mind is that Search Console keeps the data of the last 16 months, therefore this is the maximum date range that you will also see in Google Analytics 4. Even though Search Console right now is connected to my GA4 property, the reports are still not visible. To fix this, you should go to Reports in Google Analytics, and then if you have enough permissions, you should see Library right here. So click here. And then you should see the Search Console collection somewhere right here. If you don't see it, then it means that you might need to wait more, or you can click Create New Collection, and then select Search Console right here. This will pre-fill the collection with two reports. One is for search queries, and the other one is for Google organic search traffic. Now let's click Save, then go back, and the collection will be visible right here, but it's still not published. To publish it, click three dots right here, and then Publish. Then the Search Console section will appear on the left sidebar. If you don't see it, then refresh the page and it should work. Now, if I expand this section, I will see two reports, one for queries and the other one for Google organic search traffic. If I click it, then I should see some data. But right now, not enough time has passed, therefore this report is empty. But nevertheless, I can still show you an example of what this data will look like. I will just need to switch to another property. By the way, did you know that I have a bunch of free eBooks on Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics? So if you want to better learn these topics, then click the link below the video, download those eBooks and get started. All right, here I am in a different property that has been collecting Search Console data for a while. And in the queries report, we can see the top search keywords. And here you could see a lot more of them compared to the interface of Search Console. And for each keyword, we can also see how many times my website appeared for that particular keyword in the search, and then how many times my links in the search were clicked, the click-through rate, and also the average position in Google search. In this report, you can also select several other dimensions, but when you think about Search Console data, keep in mind that it is separated from the rest of the GA4 data. So if you decided to add some additional secondary dimension, none of them would work because they are all grayed out. These dimensions, for example, they are native Google Analytics 4 dimensions, while this report shows data only coming from Search Console. The only dimensions that you can add to this report as a secondary dimension, for example, would be country and also device category. Now let's take a quick look at the search traffic report. Here we have another dimension, which is kind of the dimension of Google Analytics, but if you try to add some additional secondary dimension, the same limitations apply, where you will have country available and also device category. But compared to the previous report, here we have more metrics. The first four are directly related to Search Console, and also there are some additional metrics coming from Google Analytics. And one more thing related to reports is that after you connect Search Console and you have waited for a while, then two additional cards will be unlocked in the Acquisition Overview report. So if you go here, 
At the bottom, you will see two additional cards. One is for the landing pages and the other one is for the keywords. And if you click this link or this link right here, you will be redirected to one of those two reports that we just added to this property. Before you connect Search Console with Google Analytics, there are a couple of things that you need to keep in mind. So the first one was already mentioned, is that you can connect one Search Console property to one web stream. And if Search Console property is already connected to some property, you cannot connect it to another stream. And then the other thing is that the date of what kind of data will be available in Google Analytics depends on when web data stream was created. If you have Search Console property that has been active and collecting data for years, but you created Google Analytics for web data stream yesterday, then the earliest moment of what Search Console data will be available will be from yesterday. And that is how you can connect GA4 to Google Search Console. If you found this video useful, hit the like button. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or GA4, then subscribe to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.